So I suppose we want to evaluate 18 to the power 85 mod 263. So we'll begin by squaring 18 repeatedly, and we'll always reduce the results mod 263. So 18 is 18 mod 263. 18 squared, well that's 324, but we can reduce that to 61 mod 263. Eighteen to the fourth, well that is equal to eighteen squared squared. But eighteen squared is equivalent to sixty-one. So eighteen to the fourth will be equivalent to sixty-one squared. Sixty-one squared is actually equal to three thousand seven hundred twenty-one, which we can reduce to thirty-nine mod two sixty-three. 18 to the 8th, well that's 18 to the 4th squared. 18 to the 4th is equivalent to 39. And 39 squared is... which we can reduce to 206 mod 263. 18 to the 16th, well that's equal to... Or, since 18 to the 8th is 206, this is, which reduces to 18 to the 32nd is, Eighteen to the sixty-four is eighteen to the thirty-second squared, which is equal to And since we're only trying to find eighteen to power eighty-five, we don't need to find eighteen to a higher power at this point. So now we want to assemble the pieces that are equal to eighteen to power eighty-five. So the pieces we need are going to be 18 to the 64, 18 to the 16th, 18 to the 4th, and 18 to the 1st. Remember the advantage of working mod n is you never have to work with large numbers, and so we know that 18 to the 64 is equivalent to 111, 18 to the 16th is equivalent to 93, 18 to the 4th is equivalent to 39, and 18 to the first is just 18. And now we can form the pairwise products. And again, the advantage to working mod n is you never have to work with large numbers. So if I multiply 39 by 18, I do get a large number, 702, but I can reduce that to 176 mod 263. Now I can multiply the next two factors, 93 by 176, then reduce, and finally, 111 times 62 is, which gives us 18 to power 85. 